Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. Imagine you're trying to download any applications or game on the App Store or maybe you're trying to download a movie or a music from your iTunes and you're getting this annoying error each time. Well, you'd feel terrible, but don't worry. We're just going to go ahead and quickly show you some cool way to solve this problem. Now, the very first things you just want to go ahead and take a look at is your billing and trace. Because if something goes wrong with there, then you're most likely going to have this problem. So, all you can do, you can tap your settings, of course, and then tap your name banner. Afterward, tap media and purchases. And here, tap view accounts. Once you're here, now it is going to ask you for the password of your Apple ID. Then all you have to do is just go ahead and enter your Apple ID and afterward it will give you the access to your billing address. Now once you're here, go ahead and tap manage payments and then you're going to see it right here which is so-called the billing address. Go ahead and tap on there and please be sure to double check about your all this information which started with street and ended with your phone number. If your informations are not correct then this problem can happen happen with your iPhone. After double checking it, even correcting this information, just go ahead and check whether you're being able to solve your problem or not. Now even after doing that process, if you're still having the same problem, feel free to check out the next process to solve your problem. Now the second way of fixing your issue is to changing your Apple ID password. Now to change that, open your setting once again and simply go to your name banner and then tap password and security. Once you're here, tap change password and then all you have to do is just go ahead and enter your two-factor authentication and then you'll have to put your current password and the new password and then verify it and afterward go ahead and tap change and your password will be changed. But if you cannot change your password from here, then all you can do, you can go to the website called iforgot.apple.com and you will be able to change your password successfully. Now, even after changing your password from there, your problem will be solved. But if it doesn't, check out the last process. In the last process, all you need to do, guys, just go ahead and just simply sign out your Apple ID and after a while, just go ahead and just lock it back on to see if that works or not. After doing all of that on your iPhone, if you're still having the same problem where you cannot download apps, then the last things all you want to do, guys, just go ahead and open up your browser and simply type getsupport.apple.com and just try to communicate with them and tell them about your problem with your Apple ID and hopefully they will give you the better solution and you'll be able to solve your problem right after that. Alright guys, so these are the things you guys can literally try on your iPhone in order to solve this issue. Hope this video is really useful for you. If you think so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more useful video content for yourself. Thanks for watching and we will talk to you all later.